The second step of the app logic involves curing the Open Food Facts API with the barcode. Here's again the API URL we looked at earlier. To make this app work, we need to make a HTTP request with the scan barcode to this API URL. In Composer, we can do this by creating a data resource. Data resources serve as connectors between data sources such as APIs and the application. To create a data resource, we should open the data panel from the top menu and then create a new data resource of the REST API direct integration type. For the resource ID, let's enter food facts. We can also enter a short description of the resource. For the resource URL, we'll grab part of the API URL up to where it says v0. With the base configuration done, we can now configure one of the methods for this resource. The methods will then be used to perform the different HTTP requests to our API. With our application, we'll just need one API request, one that fetches the data for the barcode. The available methods are get collection, get record, create record, update record, and delete record. The word in parentheses is the name of the actual HTTP method that the API call will use. In our case, the data can be accessed with a get type request and it returns data for a single product, which is why we'll use the get record method. For the relative path, we should enter a latter part of the API URL. Then we need to way pass the currently scanned barcode to the API in this URL. We can do this with a URL placeholder. There's already a default placeholder called ID defined. Let's just edit it a bit and change the label and key to barcode. Then we should mark what we want to replace in the URL with the key of the placeholder in curly brackets, which in this case is the barcode number. Now we are ready to test the data resource. In the test tab, let's enter the barcode from the URL for the barcode parameter. Now, hitting the run test button performs an API request and we should get back the same data as we did in the browser, which we can now see a bit more clearly. After a successful test, we should finally click on Set Schema from Response, which stores the data structure from the API response. This is going to help us a lot when we work with the data in the application.